Hello everyone. We're, right now we're gonna do a a little interpretation of mine of uh, one of these songs from Rob Zombie's latest album, Venomous Re Rat Regeneration Vendor. And the song that we're gonna review and interpret is uh, Trade In Your Guns For A Coffin. I believe that this title was inspired by uh, a 1970 spaghetti western film known as called I Am Sartana, Trade, Trade Your Guns For A Coffin, which is also known as Sartana's Here, Trade Your Pistol For A Coffin, which it, and also as a... As a, uh, what else is that other title besides Sartana's Here? Sartana's Here, Get Your Coffins Ready, and stuff like that. Well, right now, this, let's get, get to the, to the, reviewing the song, Trading Your Guns for a Coffin. Now, let's look over the lyrics. Now, here are the lyrics, and here's the, image of like two of about a half a do about a dozen people in coffins and the lyrics is obey submit assume consume the dream that was never meant to just follow the rules okay so what that first line means is like a uh, like just assu assume obey obey follow what you're told on the television or something kind of like saying obey, obey what your president tells you submit submit yourself assume everything and consume as in like eat it all up and consume the dream that was never met that was never just follow the rules. The dream, obviously, a reference to uh, Obama's uh, thing about theme about uh, change, which has been parodied many times. Excuse me. So it's saying like a. Go ahead, obey, submit yourself to Obama, assume, consume the dream, consume the, this, this delusion that was, ne that was never meant to hop, follow, just follow the rules. That's what it's trying to say here. And the next line is, stop, go too fast, too slow, and when you're done, you got nothing, hun. I believe that means like just, uh, like live your life fa fast and like Obama's tracks or something go too fast too slow when you're done j j you get nothing hun it's why we suck and why we fuck alright trade in your guns for a coffin man alright So basically, he's like saying that uh, the majority of people suck for following Obama's advice about gun control and uh, and why we fuck, which is pretty much just some random r rhyming thing, I think. Unless he's got some weird pun intended, which I'm not going to go there. And he says, trade in your guns for a coffin, man. All right. So what he's trying to say there in my interpretation, specifically the trade in your guns for a coffin, man, is uh, he wants you to, he's like being sarcastic. He's being anti-gun control. What this uh, song is about, I believe, is about gun control. In fact, it's anti-gun control, this song. In fact, it's being sarcastic. It's saying, 
go ahead, trade in your guns for a coffin, man. Which is probably a reference to that Spaghetti Western, I am Sartan, I'll trade your guns for a coffin. But it also could mean that, uh, that if you, uh, trade in, you give up your guns, you have nothing to defend yourself. And when you have nothing to defend yourself, you're, you're likely to get killed. That's why people need guns, not only the Second Amendment, but also to, to protect them from domestic and international terrorists, to protect themselves from the government, to protect themselves from dangerous people that might do them harm, to protect themselves and their family. And when you take away those guns, you're more than likely to get killed without a defense, a weapon of defense. So that's what he means by trading your guns for a coffin, man. And next up is stay asleep and watch TV, be happy, be happy. I believe that means like a uh, stay asleep, which is like a metaphor for uh being ignorant to what's going on around you. Uh that you're not aware of what's really going on. That, that you really believe in Obama's bullshit. That he cares about these Sandy Hook b victims and, and etc. When, when this is all just a pol political scheme of his. To take away your guns. And I'm gonna. That's my interpretation for trading your guns for the line, trading your guns for a coffin, and uh, my interpretation for uh, stay asleep and watch TV, be happy, be happy. And uh, like I said, the, the stay asleep is a metaphor for being ignorant of what's going on around you. Watch TV, just. Simply watch TV, believe everything you watch on TV, like the news, Fox News, like liberal news, etc. And just be happy, be happy. Live this uh, fake happy life of, of watching TV, thinking you are safe, and stuff like that. I'll let you... Let me see if I can interpret the other, the rest of the lyrics. Buy out, sell out, sell out, risk, reward, destroying yourself as you jump on board. Well, what he means by re re destroying yourself as you jump on board is like he's saying you, you're, you're going to destroy, destroy yourself if you join in Obama's gun control proposal. That you're basically going to kill yourself. And if you think that uh, gun control is going to work. Uh, take a look at uh, Detroit. No, not Detroit. That's a bad example. Uh, Chicago and D.C. They have the strictest gun, gun regulations. And they still suffer from gun crime. Gun related crime. I'm not gonna say gun violence, cause that that'll make me, that'll make me sound like a liberal. I'm not a communist. I'm not sure about the buyout, sellout, risk reward thing. Unless risk reward, unless he's saying that uh, reward yourself by risking yourself. Because I think this whole gun control thing is like if you jump on board with them, with the gun control advocates, you're you're in a way congratulating yourself. You're giving yourself a, a reward in a way by patting yourself on the back, thinking you did a great job and stuff like that by joining the gun control advocates when basically you're risking yourself or something. 
the rest is lost, found, get up, get down, and when you're de dead, Burkowski. And when you're dead, Burkowski said. Baby shooting vodka in her eyes, eyes again. She want to get higher and live her life again. I'm not sure what he means by baby shooting vodka in her eyes. It probably references uh, alcoholism or some kind of something like that of that nature. It says she wants to get higher and live her life again. Like she wants to feel like she's alive again by getting high like on alcohol or something. Which, I don't know. I'll let you interpret that. Let me know what you think of the most of the lyrics, which I'm not going to put much detail into. Same thing, stay asleep, watch TV, be happy, be happy. User, bruiser, bruiser, generation loser, do not think, just follow the link. I think what he means by user bruiser generation generation loser is that he's referring to generation Z people that were born in the 2000s to 2010s they don't know much about life they just follow everything on TV because if you were born in that area by now you would pretty much believe everything you hear in the social media the the news, what Obama says, and stuff like that. So I think that's what he's referring to by user, bruiser, generation, loser. And do not think, just follow the link, like I said. Just follow the leader, follow Obama. Follow the link, in this case, like a link to a computer. When you... When there's like a URL or something that's like considered a link, you copy that URL and put it in your search engine and fo and just follow it. It's kind of like just saying following the leader, the leader, the leader. Anyways, hero, hell ho, hell ho, quit, quit it, hit it, over in the clover, Beethoven kneels over. I'm not, sh I'm not sure about that. It's why we suck, why we fuck, alright. Trade in your guns for a coffin, man, alright. So, like I said, if you, t this is, I believe that, that, uh, it, for my interpretation, trade in your guns for a coffin is a anti-gun control song that says if you tr give up your guns, you're gonna die trading in your gun it's like trading in your guns for a coffin for your own coffin so if you give up your guns you're gonna die so that's my interpretation thank you for watching hope you like the video peace out everybody